What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today I'm going to take you behind the scenes on a VR commercial part two. Sadly, I can't show you the full commercial due to copyright, but as you can see, I put together some of the scenes that I shot for this commercial. And just to keep in mind, these are only just a few shots and I filmed so much more for this commercial and I'm gonna have so much more footage to show with you guys. So you better subscribe to see the following videos that I'm gonna do from this series. But as for now, we're going to deep dive into my cinematography for the three scenes that you just watched. If you saw my previous video, you know what gear I used to shoot this, but if you're first time watching this, my gear of choice was the handheld camera Sony FX6 with autofocus primes, and my gimbal setup was DJI Ronin R2 with Sony A7S III paired with autofocus primes as well. And you may wonder why I used two cameras. Well, I had two cameras with me because I had a limited time on set, and I wanted to be as fast as possible and as efficient as possible. And therefore I needed two setups so I can just grab the setup, film with it and then switch again because I usually film handheld and gimbal in the same project. My lighting of choice for these scenes was Nanolite Forza 500, Nanolite Mix Panel 150 with softbox and grid and a set of Pavatube 15X. All right, scene number one. For this scene, I wanted to go for a high key lining where everything is super clean, no shadows, everything looks like a premium office type of vibe. To achieve these, I used the Forza 500, which I oriented it towards the ceiling. And because the ceiling had an angle and it was white, it converted into a huge bounce, which worked amazingly good. And if the lighting wasn't that powerful, the effect couldn't work the same. But because the Forza 500 is super bright, it worked really good in this situation. And lighting wise for this scene, I think that was it. No additional things or anything like that. It's a super simple setup, which works in a lot of situations, but in this situation work really good because of the incline of the wall. When it comes to my filming techniques, I choose to film handheld and gimbal because I needed to shoot as much as I can and as diverse as I can because I wanted to use all of the shots that I shot in this scene for different campaigns as well, not only for one video. So I had to have diversity between the shots. So shoot as much as we can, different angles, everything needs to be a little bit different so we can use the footage all over the year. Now we're gonna go to scene number two. This one was super different than scene number one, mostly because we used more lights and a totally different vibe. The inspiration for this scene was to create something bold and futuristic, something like a Blade Runner scene. To do this, I used the Mix Panel 150 with a softbox and a grid so I can control and soften my lighting. In the back, I used two Pebble Tubes 30 one under the sofa and one on the side to give her a little bit of backlight. And as you can see on my light diagram, it's a simple setup, guys. I also did a ton of shots from different angles on the setup so I can have as many shots as I can so I can film them later on along the year on different campaigns as well. Scene number three. This scene was super interesting because we only used two blue lights. But because she had an orange sweatshirt, this orange got amplified because of the blue light. And it almost looked like her outfit was neon. So I really liked how it looked. And because we had to make so many different scenes and different situations for this brand, I think uh, we had a really good idea and we went for it. And as you can see, the results speak for themselves. For this work, I used the Forza 150 with a softbox and the grid. 
semi-frontal and the Pavotube 13X from the side. And I used this setup so I can have a little bit of light on her and a little bit of light in the background. But overall, I think we managed to get some really good results in just a few hours without a big crew, without a ton of rigging, and we had a lot of fun as well. So I think mission accomplished, the client was very happy, and by the way, we have so much more footage that we can analyze for this commercial, so you better subscribe, and here is just a little bit of hint on what we're gonna watch next time and what we're gonna analyze. So like I said, you better subscribe. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're gonna stay tuned for the next one as well. I'm Alexandra Don, and I'm really happy you watched this video, and I hope my information was valuable to you, and if it was, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. In the meantime, have fun shooting. Cheers, guys.